Hi, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, I've got a figure in today, Hot Toys 1. I don't think I've actually owned this version. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've been having a bit of a tidy up in this uh, area. I've got my screen, as you can see behind, 100 inch screen. So it's like having a cinema screen for me. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Just got the uh, invested in the 4K um, projector down the line, but yeah, yeah. So I've streamlined my collection anyway. So that corner there, I've got some totes over here, you know, with my vintage toys. So yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, so I don't think I've done. This uh, Batman Dark Knight figure. I've had the Batman Begins, Dark Knight Rises. I'm pretty sure I haven't had this one. But anyway, this is a box, quite moody Batman on the front. It's got a very tactile feel as well. It's not your normal. Uh, I'm not sure about the Bruce Wayne head sculpt, but as I say, I don't think I've owned this one, but I'm never going to have the head sculpt on him anyway. It's got a slip, a slip case. And there's an image of Christian Bale. I know it's very dark, it's a very dark image anyway. But as I say, I don't think I've had this version. I've probably said that more than once already in the two minutes I've done this video. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a window display. It's got why it's so serious on it. This is the uh, collector's edition MW S71, the Dark Knight. It's probably my favourite at the trip. Well, Batman Begins my favourite. I love origin, origin stories, but uh, Dark Knight is a complete, is the complete movie really. So, get him out. Comes with one, two, three, four, five, six hands, including the ones he's wearing. kind of a stand you know standard stand uh, two batarangs a uh, grappling gun I like quite I definitely haven't owned this because I don't ever remember the chest being like that Get the head sculpt out if I can. Let's see where we go from here. I don't think. Does that come off? I think that head's up. See, I won't be posing them. Uh, the eyes look very wonky. They look like they're staring upwards. Well, not up to the side. I mean, it's not bad like this. You've got to remember, this is probably, I don't know how old this figure is. You know, but I mean, the prices go down now, anyway. There's his, his grappling gun. Comes with his bomb. I mean, but everyone's probably seen this figure. You know, I'm always late to the game, especially like I've sold so many of these figures. Not. I'm 
I'm not sure if that actual leg. There's no there's twist in the ankles, no pivot, so you can see it's an old figure. I mean, I, I just I've got a funny feeling if I took the the um, suit off, his legs would fall off. I don't know if this was a common problem. But yeah, all in all, nice condition. Cape's a bit rubbish, but then Hot Toys aren't really known for their. Actually, no, to say the truth, it's a bit thicker than normal Hot Toys. Uh, there's no wire in it, so you can't really pose him. Um, you know, that great. And his, his hook has come off. As I say, when they. Hot Toys put all this effort into. The actual figure, but when it comes to capes, it seem to be, you know, not that good. Oh, let's come out. I'll work that out in a minute. But anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. That's uh, the Dark Knight Hot Toy figure. Just in case you were thinking of going out and buying him, I know, as I say, you know, most collectors have moved on to the 15th version or whatever. So I, I, I come along, you know, like scoop up the, the ones I like, but at a later date. You know. Anyway, his cape's gone back on. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. I also like to hear comments from people because, uh, you know, that's what this hobby is all about. And, uh, yeah, I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.